right, so um, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Clever Box uh, Daily Planner. I um, have been a bullet journaler off and on, I would say, for the past three or four years and have mixed in a mix of digital planning and paper planning. Um, I started a new job a few months back and heading into the new year, um, and I really realized that as much as I enjoy the creativity of bullet journaling, I really just don't have the time to do layouts every week and kind of think about what I need to do, and I really just need a place where I can keep a task list every day. Um, mostly, I do all of my appointments digitally, and I just need to be able to look at that at a glance and then do some weekly planning. So I had read some reviews on Amazon, did a little bit of research, and had heard about this Clever Fox Planner, so I wanted to give it a go for um, 2021. So I got this on Amazon. Um, I forget how much I paid for it. I think it was like $26 or $27. So not the most pricey planner I've ever, ever purchased, not the most inexpensive, but I've heard good things. So it comes in this little white box. Um, with the, it looks like kind of a greenish Clever Fox logo on the front. And then just unbox it. Let's see. All right. So the first thing you get is it looks like a little instructional manual on how the planner works. It's a little dusty. Um, and kind of uh, one of the things I liked about it is kind of had like a, a review process. So there's different sections it looks like. Um, a place for gratitude and self-awareness, a vision board, um, a daily rituals thing. I'm really into doing morning routines. And one of the things that really helps me is to be able to write it down. So that's one of the things that attracted me to this. There's different productivity hacks, mind mapping. One thing I really like was there's like a weekly page and a monthly page. So, um, and then dot grids, which is kind of a bullet journal thing for those of you who know it. Um, and then the other thing is, there's a page for every day. Um, I have a very task oriented, job. Um, and then I also have three small children and a bunch of things to manage in the house. So it just made sense for me. I really needed to have a place where I could jot down thoughts, ideas, notes, if things come to my head so that I can get them out of my mind and move on quickly with what I'm doing during my work day. Um, and so that's that. So it looks like it gives you a, an instruction for each section of the planner, which is nice. So I suppose I'll probably go through this um, just to kind of see what their thoughts are on that and like how you can kind of use the planner and maximize it. So I'm going to read more about this, but this is, it's kind of nice. You don't usually get like an instruction manual with a planner typically. Um, so I, I appreciate that, you know, that comes with. All right. So then you have the planner itself. I chose teal. It's one of my favorite colors. All right, and it's pretty thick, and this is dated, and it's only a six month, so it's pretty thick because you have a page for each day, and it's six months. So one of the other things that attracted me to it was that, oh, sorry, I keep bumping that, um, was I tend to, like, either use a planner for a little while, and it doesn't really work for me, um, and so I like the fact that it's only six months, so, like, if for some reason it's not, you know, making me excited, I can not feel too bad that I... <laughs> I'm switching to a different planner that's really for 12 months. Um, but yeah, so it comes with the cover. It's kind of a soft touch cover. It's pretty nice. It has the little wraparound descriptor. Um, so yeah, it's got a monthly review, a weekly review, daily review, habit tracker, areas for like affirmations, gratitudes, and then it talks about it being six months. It looks like it has a pretty sturdy pen loop, which I like. Um, and then another feature, which I've liked on my Lurk Sherms, um, is that elastic strap having a pen loop and the strap is are like two really important features at least for me so it's pretty thick this is an a5 size and uh, before we move on to opening up it looks like it came with some fun little stickers so like little productivity stickers and maybe for like different activities birthdays exercise etc so that's a nice feature i'll set that aside and then also um it looks like a warranty card and some other like thank you for your purchase information if I can get it out so pretty basic stuff it's got the logo on the back so that's the box so let's get into the actual planner itself so open up the strap it's pretty thick it feels like it's gonna op be open you know keep it pretty secure but it's not too stiff to where it's like gonna be difficult to put on which I like all right so opening up taking this off 
doesn't seem like there's any other measurements or anything or details on there. It has the logo on the front. All right, let's open this up and see. All right, so we've got a blank page. The paper feels pretty thick and nice. I'm going to do a plan with me so we can see what the situation is with the bleed through. But the, the title page, everything feels pretty nice. Looks like there's an area to put your um, information. Oh, and an area for your reward. So maybe if you, you know, achieve whatever goal that you've set for yourself in this plan or you have like in mind right on the front what you're going to reward yourself with. All right, so here's the area that they had mentioned before about daily rituals, affirmations, etc. Here's the place for your vision board. Okay, goal setting. Um, your focus. So I'm assuming these are like your main main goals and where your areas of focus are. A mind map space with a dot grid. And then, okay, so then this looks like your monthly page. Month and year. I was under the impression this is dated. Maybe it is not. Let's look. I'm just going to skip ahead real quick so I can see what's going on here. Huh. And was it undated or dated? Did I miss that? Non-dated. <laughs> uh, well, I suppose that's okay. Um, I'm starting it at the new year anyways. So read the fine print, Jessica. Anyways, that's fine. Fantastic. Okay. I have a bunch of stickers with dates on them that I've been wanting to use anyways. So let's get back to where we were. So it looks like you have all the months together. So month and year. I guess these are be like your mini goals, things you want to, habits you want to adopt, skills you want to learn, things to avoid, places to go, people to see. Um, I do like it laid out this way. One thing that I am trying to work more on is connecting with people, especially because I have a lot of friends that don't live near me um, and just making more of an effort to connect with them on an ongoing basis. Um, what your goals are, this month's wins, how will improve next month. So it seems like, you know, you can do a monthly review and kind of see where you're at. Um, and then a place to date and put your calendar. So it seems like all of the months are together, which I guess is good because you can kind of like when you're planning ahead, you can kind of just flip through the months. And then it looks like you've got your weekly planning. So it looks like you've got your weekly page and then it heads in the, to, into the daily page. So you've got a, a main goal for the week and then a reward for yourself if you achieve said goal. Um, what your priorities for a week. And if you know, like the Ivy Lee method, usually you want to have like up to six goals for a day. Like that's the most you can accomplish. And then like maybe top you know, two to three pri priorities. Oh, I like this. Okay. So this is something that's been really a struggle for me is like all the things I have to do personally for my family life and for myself and then managing work. So I like that you, they have like your goals for the week split up by work and personal. That's really nice. And then a habit tracker. And then, Looks like these are your life balance. So earlier you saw with the goal setting, there was different areas where you could goal set. And it looks like this kind of keeps you top of mind of what you're actually trying to work on in these areas, which I think is really nice. Um, and then let's, this spills over to the daily page. So you've got your today's main goal, which I'm assuming you pull from like whatever, maybe like you have a goal this week to, um, I don't know, like cook three times this week, cook dinner three times this week. Maybe today's main goal would be to plan the menu or to go grocery shopping or something. So I'm, I'm, that's how I'm treating it. Like you have your main goal. What bite can you take off from that main goal today to like move yourself forward? And then what your today's priorities are. I like that there's three lines. I usually try to focus. This is great for me because I try to do calendar blocking digitally and it just never seems to work for me. Um, also in terms of keeping your inbox closed and really only checking it a couple times a day, it's hard to do that when your calendar is on your outlook. So I, um, was really looking something where I could concisely keep a schedule of what I've got going on, um, so that I can kind of see what's on my calendar and not really have to be always staring at my, my computer, my, my inbox. And I like how it starts early. I tend to get up early. I do my workouts early. So this is good. Um, and then a basic to-do list again, only six. So I like this because I feel like for me, like I, I usually have a long running to-do list and I end up numbering stuff. And then I see something else on my to-do list and I end up skipping around instead of doing things in order of priority. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put the three things I need to get done for like my work tasks that day and then put the rest of my tasks down here so that, um, I'm not getting distracted. 
and I could really get things done. I think this is going to actually be really good for me. Um, and then, you know, you can rate your productivity at the end of the day. So when I'm done, before I like do my daily, like log off from work, I can kind of look at how I actually did. So maybe what I'm going to do is like write down my ideal schedule, maybe over on this half and then kind of write down how it went throughout the day. Um, so I can track my time better and see how I'm actually doing staying focused. I think this is going to be, I've been looking for something where, you know, I could have some creativity with it. It was a little flexible. Um, you know, there's definitely space to put stickers and do different colors. So I like that. I think that's going to be really good. All right. And so then you have a weekly pay, a daily page for each day of that week. Oh, this is great. Okay, so then you have weekly notes. This is fantastic. Okay, so one of my issues is like I'll come up with an idea or something I need to take care of and I end up like either sending myself an email and then it gets lost or I put it on like a notes app. This is great because I can really like, I can put a paper clip here and then, you know, if something comes up that I need to do, whatever it is, it could be a million things, doing laundry, picking up something, something for work. I can just kind of write my notes here of all the things I need to do and then carry it over from week to week, which is really great. I like that idea. Okay. And then this is the thing I was really excited about was the weekly review. So was my goal achieved? What were my wins? What did I not complete and why? What habits did I not pursue? What have I learned? How do I feel about my progress and how will I improve? So really like I watched a lot of great YouTube videos about this whole concept of a weekly review and I was trying to implement it in like a bullet journal sort of method and it just wasn't working. So I need like a combination of structure and flexibility. So for me, like I'm busy, this is, has everything that I need, it seems like, and I'll be able to maybe be more productive. That's the hope. And then you go on to your next week and I think the process repeats. So let's skip ahead. Oh, and we didn't address this. It has, looks like three ribbons. So in this case, it's like a dark teal kind of a lighter teal and like a goldenrod or gold. So this is actually good because what I can do is you can, you know, mark your monthly page, mark whichever day you're on, and then, let's see here, mark that notes page. So then I'll have, have those all set so I can easily flip through the different areas that I'm going to be using like on a daily basis, which I think is good. So let's get that over a little bit. All right. So let's flip ahead to the back and see, Ooh, looks like there's more notes. So that's all that. And then, Ooh, lots of dot grid in the back for notes. So, you know, this might be an area where I want to reference, I don't know, shopping lists, uh, birthdays, I'm not really sure yet what I'm going to do for, with this yet, but I like that there's plenty of notes pages back here. Um, that's really great. Fantastic. And it's a nice dot grid. It looks like it's pretty well laid out. And the, the dots are not too dark and not too light, which I like. And then there's a pocket in the back and it looks like it's got kind of a ribbony material in the gusset. So it's pretty solid. It's not just paper like a regular paper. It's like a reinforced paper. So enough place to put receipts. Was there a pocket in the front? Let's see. No, no pocket in the front. All right. So I'm really pleased with this. I feel like it's going to be really good for me in terms of productivity and what I need to accomplish. Um, I think I will do a plan with me video um, just to kind of show you how I'm using it and how it's working for me. Um, and so, yeah, this has been fun and I hope you enjoyed my first attempt at a planner unboxing and we'll see you next time. Bye.